Look how far we've come in four days. Can you see how through there? Many people would say this couldn't be done. We did this basically with manual labor and then help with the cat, which right now is down. We popped the track off. Um, so we're, the sun's going down and we're uh, trying to pump grease in here. We got it back on the front sprocket using pry bars and stuff. But what I want to show you is down this way. Look at the size of some of these stumps. Yeah, that's 13 inches across that way. That was a, that was a fairly big tree. There's a couple more up through there. Uh, we've got a section here that's out of gauge. We're going to have to deal with. This is some of the drainage issue I was talking to you about. We'll have to get all this dirt out so we can see the ties. Here's a gauge problem here. Here we're at 55 inches, should be at 56 and a half. So this is uh, gonna be some work here. We'll probably wanna get all of that out. But uh, man, I'd like to thank the guys. Look how far we've come. Now we do have, right here is some rail that we're gonna put back in. We'll be able to park cars in there. And there's another track right here can you see it back in there? Buried back there. The, up there's the switch. So um, this will be able, we'll be able to store cars in there too. So if you like what we did this week, you like to follow along. Okay, so the old guy is working. I got sweat dripping off my nose and it's November. So that gives you an idea. Warm day, a lot of work. This is that section where we're out of gauge, which I want to describe for those that are watching that aren't familiar with gauge gauge is 56 and a half inches between the rail so when we go from that side with this magnetic tape measure to this side should be 56 and a half here's 55 which would need corrected but down into here here's 53 and a half so there's a three inch discrepancy in where this rail should be now it's we're also missing a lot of spikes. Here we've cleaned up the ends of the ties. No tie plates, no spikes. So we don't know the history of what happened here. Now here's a spike, but here's a clue. So this rail should be over here. There's the plate, there's the spike. So what we're doing today is cleaning up this to determine where the rail goes. Uh, next phase right here is gauge rods, which push the rail apart and hold them at the right dimension. And then if you'll remember, I told you we had brush removal. What was the next phase? If you're paying attention, you know. It was drainage. Here is the drainage problem. This looks like it's almost filled up, maybe rolled over the rail and brought a lot of this dirt in. So we're still on brush removal. Now we're doing gauge. Then we will do... Um, drainage. We do have a truck we're going to bring in, a grapple truck to clear out all this brush that we've cut down. Big shout out to the guys. Man, they pushed through this forest in about three days. So I'm really proud of them for that. We will uh, update you on how we do in this section right here. Thanks for liking and subscribing.